Hello Year 5, this is your remote learning English writing PowerPoint for this week. We're missing you in school and I hope you're feeling okay and you'll all be back in soon but in the meantime here's some work for you whilst you're isolating. This is the same work that we'll be completing in class. Um, it's a week beginning the 21st of the 9th, 2020, and it's um, two or three days worth of English writing. We're going to be writing a newspaper report on the events based on the Highwayman poem. So I want you first of all to take a look at some newspapers and remind yourselves of the features like the name of the newspaper, the subheading, the pictures and the captions, the bylines. Um, have a little look and look at how they're laid out. This work will probably take you until Wednesday. Uh, we want you to write your own newspaper article, including the what, when, where, who and how. Remember to write in the third person use past tense. And as a reporter, I want you to write about the details leading up to the death of the highwayman. Include some comments from eyewitnesses at the scene or something maybe that soldiers have said or the landlord has said. Remember to include a picture and caption. And if you have a look at the blank sample newspaper on the next page, this is an example of how I'd like you to lay yours out. You don't have to print it off or anything. You can just maybe get some blank paper and write columns on there. Just lay yours out similar to that. We've included here um, the features of a newspaper report checklist. Um, and it says, how many of the following features can you spot in your newspaper report? So these are some really good ideas of what I'd like you to include in your newspaper report. Things like pictures with captions. So you could sketch a picture of maybe the highwayman on his horse and put a really fun caption underneath. Um, it's, remember, it's written in the third person. There'll be some direct and reported speech there. Maybe you'll get a quote from the landlord about what he thinks about the whole thing. Or maybe you get a quote from one of the soldiers uh, and the, the you know, eyewitness account of what went on. Um, when you finish this work, if you hand it into the Y5 email address, and either myself or Mr Evans will be looking over that later on this week, We'll also be starting um, a new piece of work either on Wednesday or Thursday of this week and we'll upload that up for you um, to start. So good luck with it. Remember, email if you need any support at all or call the school. We'd be happy to speak to you or, um, you know, or email you back once we've had a look at that. And good luck with it and take care. Bye.